All right, America is not Babylon, number seven. We're going to talk about the Jesuit control structure. Now, if you read in your King James Bible here, Revelation chapter 17, verse 18 says, And the woman which thou sawest is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth. So, this system, this mystery Babylon here, she rules over the kings of the earth. She reigns over them. Now, I'm going to show you the little uh, thing here that I showed in the last study, but we'll look at it again. And uh, I would agree with probably a lot of that, but I think at the top it's not this M1 monetary you know, whatever thing. I don't agree with that. I think at the very top, it's Satan. Uh, that's the reason for the all-seeing eye on the back of your dollar bill above the unfinished pyramid. So I would disagree with that, but I do believe most of the rest of this thing is accurate. And, um, you know, it's important for you to understand that the Vatican is in control of the various governments out there through the leaders and things like that. They go off to Jesuit schools, they, they're taught by Jesuits, and they are taught how to overthrow countries, how to get control of people, how to mind control people, whatever else. So they might be an American citizen, but they have dual citizenship in with the Vatican, and they are sub, submissive to the Vatican. So again, you know, to say, well, it's somehow America and the Vatican has lost its control, uh, I don't think so. It's very, very important to understand the Vatican is the one who it's described in Revelation 17 and 18 and over into 19. Um, they never lost their power completely. Right? The Protestant Reformation years, yeah, they, they appeared to have gone down in power. And certainly Christians aren't being burned at the stake right now. Not yet. But, uh, you know, at least in, here in America and the UK. But um, they're gaining their open power again. Uh, they're definitely in control of, of the governments and things like that. But openly, no, they're not openly in control of the Vatican, I'm saying, right now. But uh, they're getting close. And that's why we have to fight against this Roman Catholic system very hard as Christians. And to try and take away the blame uh, or take away the identity of, of Babylon in Revelation 17 into, ver into chapter 19. Try and take that away from the Vatican and put it on you know, the United States is very, very wicked. Um, please be careful about that. Don't listen to anybody that tries to do that. Merchants of the earth work for the Jesuit papacy and its religion. The merchants of the earth, like the knights of the equestrian order, they work for the Jesuit papacy, and they dare not lift up their sword against it, lest they be consumed by the Pope's international intelligence community. The Knights of Malta, the Knights of St. John of Jerusalem, work for the Jesuit papacy. They administer his banks. Peter G. Peterson is a Knight of Malta, and he was the head of the New York Fed Bank in New York City for some time. He is a Knight of Malta tied intimately with the Jesuits of Loyola University in Chicago. Peter G. Peterson is a presider in the Council on Foreign Relations overseen by the Archbishop of New York, Timothy Dolan. The former one being Edward Cardinal Egan. And in Europe, the Knights have a new king of the European Bank. And we will talk about him at the half with the count. This wicked sinner whose name is, what's his name? Why, it's Mario Draghi. For past governor of the Bank of Italy, now he's the head of the European Central Bank, a Knight of Malta, Roman Catholic Italian. Don't tell me the Jews rule the world! The Jews in places of power are serving the Pope. They're Hofjuden. They're Jews licking the boots of the Pope, like Henry Kissinger and a host of others. But the men of power, it's the white power structure I've been preaching against for years. And it's time that you white men woke up and realized your greatest enemies are white. White serving the Pope. Designed to destroy you financially. And all you Germans, I know you Germans don't want the German, you don't want the uh, Pope's Euro in Germany. I've talked to some of you German women in an airport. You couldn't stand it. Yet you didn't want to talk too much about it. You're afraid you're going to be arrested. Yeah, I remember. I need, you Germans need to stand up and say, we don't want the Euro in Germany. We want our old German marks back. 
And you French need to stand up and say, we don't want the euro in France. We want our own, we want our own French francs back. Yeah, you guys in Malta, you need to get your currency back. England, you're about ready to lose your British pound to the Pope's euro. Is that what you want? They're taking you down. The Knights of Malta in Europe are taking all you Europeans down to further wreck you commercially, financially, to destroy all your national sovereignties. And part of national sovereignty is having a nation with its own money. You Cypriots, whatever happened to the Cypriot pound? I remember when I was there, what, five, six years ago, there was a Cypriot pound. No longer, it's the Pope's Euro. You Cypriots ought to be hopping mad about it. It's the same pay pope that used Henry Kissinger to back the Turkish invasion into Cyprus in a 1974. Kill what? 20,000 Cypriots. Divide the, divide the uh, nation in half. Dividing Nicosia becomes a, it becomes a divided city until recently. All at the hand of the Pope of Rome. When are you people going to wake up? Greece ought to be the same way. You're drachmas. You need to have your own currency back. They want to shove the Pope's euro down your throat. When they do that, that's the end of your national sovereignty. Don't you want to be Greek? Don't you want to speak Greek? Don't you want to have your wonderful Greek heritage? Don't you want to maintain your beautiful Greek music? Don't you want to have your, your, your Greek culture that you've had for centuries? The Pope's going to rob you of all of it. And part of it is doing it financially with the merchants of the earth. With his Mario Drag Queen. That's what he is. Mario Drag Queen. That's what we're going to call him. The Wicked Center. What is wrong with your leaders? I'll tell you what. Your leaders are completely compromised by a high-level Freemasonry and other secret societies to do the bidding of the Pope of Rome. Are you getting irate yet? Are you getting upset about this yet? Or are you so brain dead and drugged with your academic degrees and what you believe to be the truth that you refuse to open your eyes and see that the Vatican runs your life via the great merchants of the earth, the Knights of Malta, Knights of the Equestrian Order, and a host of other orders running the banking system, Opus Dei. Opus Dei runs a banking system out of Panama. They run it all. Sheep to be shorn, sheep to be sacrificed, and sheep, nice mutton to be eaten. That's how they look at us. We're just animals to be fleeced at their will. Speaking of a few topics of importance, specifically Mario Draghi today, who is now the head of the European Central Bank, and he is a knight of Malta.